Hi, my name's Adam, and I'm going to introduce you to another version of Topl. And this one is called Ardri. It means High King. And it's on a board of seven squares by seven squares. And uh, it has 16 pieces on one side that one player controls. And they're the attackers, and here they're colored black. And then they're against eight pieces uh, starting towards the center that the other player controls and um, and then also the king make it, making a total for nine on one side uh, and these are colored red online you'll see them as, as white and these will usually be black but uh, this set these are red and black and then the king is gold and uh, just briefly this this version really isn't documented in historical records it's only sort of mentioned by name um, in certain documents, uh, but the rules were never written out, and the board was never shown what it looked like, and things like that. Uh, this is uh, just an estimate by mostly writers on the internet, from what I can find. And um, not all versions of Topla are like that. There's about seven different versions of the game of Topla, and um, three of them uh, have actual you know, old historical documents showing what the board looked like, what the rules were, things like that. And that's Toblet, Alea, Vangeli, and Tavel board. Uh, anyway, um, you can play this version, Ardri, on at a website called dragonheelslayer.com. I have that here uh, up throughout the video. So basically, just to briefly go over the rules, uh, all, of the, all of the pieces, the king, his men, and... Um, the attackers, they all move like rooks in chess, but uh, in this version, since the board is so small um, and the way the pieces are kind of set up, it's it's more fair if they just move one space at a time. So uh, that's usually the rule set that most people play this game by, is that the pieces move like rooks, but just one square at a time. Um, and then the king will win uh, when he reaches the edge of, uh, of the board. Uh, this game, it's really, really hard to get either to the edge or to the corner, whichever one. It's probably a little easier to get to the edge on this version, so um, you want to help the king side out as much as possible because it's, it's even for a well-seasoned top player, um, getting getting the king to to the, to the edge is really is really tough. And um, so, and then the king side would lose whenever he's surrounded on on four uh, four sides. Uh, of the opposing side that's how he loses and then um, the way the pieces capture is custodially meaning like this guy's gone because two two pieces were placed on both sides of him he can either be in that direction or on the other direction and uh, the king can capture in this in this game uh, this is one of the only times where you'll see escape to the edge, but the king's able to capture because, uh, once again, he needs as much help as possible. So, you know, if he was here and um, he's here and then he moves here, this piece is gone because the king takes place and can take part in captures. And uh, landing in between two opposing, opposing pieces is safe because it was, you know, the other person's move. So landing, landing in between them is safe. It's only whenever the the opponent moves to capture you. Uh, then um, the throne rule is similar. The throne is off limits except for the king. Um, that's another difference between some of the other games to the edge. The, the king can land back on the throne and then he can go and keep moving in a different direction. All the other pieces have to sort of move around the throne. They can't go, they can't go through it. And uh, the king side can move first, further uh, once again to help him out since it's a little harder. Um, it's not too much of an advantage, really. And um, but he can use as much help as as he can get. And let's see. So that that's about it. The um, the main difference between this and some of the other games of Topl is that this game isn't as sort of advanced strategically. There's not a whole lot, like if you saw my series on Toblet, um, I had, a, a le up, well up to this date, 11 videos uh, showing 
going in depth about into great detail with the strategy. This game, there's not a lot of those strategies aren't going to apply. Uh, like for instance, the openings. There's only one opening, um, you know, for for the for the defenders, and that is, you know, that 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 move is functionally the same as moving them here, functionally the same as moving this piece here, this piece here. There's only one move. Um, also, if you recall on Toblet, uh, there's a pin piece at the beginning. Here, you don't have any any uh, pinned pieces at the beginning, so that's a little easier. Um, and uh, but what stri what what strategies could you use? Well, uh, you could you could try for pawn chains if you remember from the Toblet series. Uh, pawn chains are real. You know, this is, would be an example of one where um, you know he's trying to close off. Here's a chain here. Here's a chain here. Uh, you know, they just look a little different. They're not as effective, but you could still you could still try it. It still could sort of apply where you're trying to just keep certain defenders away from the from the fight. And another strategy is you want to make sure that the king kind of gets off the throne early before the perimeter can be secured by the um, by the attackers. Um, you don't want to have him there, you know, ten moves into the game. He, he, he doesn't need to be on the throne still. And um, that's really about it. You don't you don't need, I mean, as far as the, the king's side, you don't really need his pieces near him. Uh, this this game is kind of really unique in that way where, you know, in Toblet, you kind of have to have the king w with an isolated pawn, you know, force an isolation on the edge of the board and then attack, attack him with three pieces. But here, that kind of doesn't happen. You can kind of, you know, if this guy gets captured, and uh, what, what what ends up happening is most of the times that the king kind of, since, since pieces just move once at a, one space at a time, um, they're kind of stuck with sort of these little races that kind of happen. And so he, usually the king kind of outruns people when, he, when, he, when he's, got, he's got a lead on them. So he can make it to the edge sort of by himself. Um, I think still in general, towards the beginning of the game, it's kind of good to keep your pieces grouped together. Anyway, um, the good strategies for black that kind of, the only really one that kind of stays the same for this game is, um, you know, making, closing off the board with sort of like pawn chains. Um, what the what what the uh, attackers want to do in this game is they don't want to move onto these rows any ever move up here close to the king on these squares next to the throne. They just he just wants to stay here on these two outer rows. This piece almost never moves forward. He just kind of moves to the side, and these kind of move up here. Um, they don't really even though that's really not a bad move. It's okay to isolate pawns in this in this game. That's you're in not too much of a danger doing that so um but they mostly these mostly come up and you can you know there you cl you've closed off the board uh by two moves two moves this way closes off the board that's also too a reason why um they just move one space at a time because if you just started the game moving like rooks any number of then you know four moves you know it's kind of easy it's kind of easy to seal off the whole board and make the game over so one space at a time um, so, so that's what kind of Black wants to do is just kind of secure a perimeter around the board and then start moving in and attacking. Um, so th that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot, uh, um, uh, of things still that carry over. One thing you want to keep in mind too is that it's, it's, it's a lot harder for White in this game too, be, I mean, for the lighter side. Uh, defenders because uh, they can't ever really attack to make have two fronts of attack. There's pretty much all you're pretty much limited with one front of attack, which in abstract strategy games that's really tough uh, to try and win that way because Black just has to sort of address one thing at a time. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. The other thing is uh, it's actually okay to kind of move, you know, in Toblet and Nephitops 
whatever version of those you're playing, you you don't you don't want to underdevelop your pieces by kind of moving the same one around. This game is a little different than that. It's a little you can get you can uh, you know get away with kind of playing playing that way where you're just kind of moving one one piece around. It's not really going to hurt you that much, and that's for either side. This side too, you can. It's almost even preferable, actually. Like you know, if you moved here, he moved here. You know, that's probably not too bad of a move to move him again. You know, because eventually, if this gets sealed off up here, you you know, you have a you have a guy outside who's going to help you attack. Um, but it's re it's really hard. Whatever you do on the king side, it's really hard. Whatever plan you have, um, you can't really open up files on this side either. Um, so that's uh, that's another hindrance. Uh, you can't. You don't control any half-open files when you're on the king's side. Black is the one that controls the half-open files, so that that's an advantage as well. Uh, so that's another thing that makes it really hard. Um, you know, um, you might be able to try and make a sacrifice where Black could lose tempo. The king can get can get away to the edge. Uh, the things you, that really kind of don't apply for Black either. You don't. Black doesn't really have to worry about maintaining one or two p pieces on every ring and file. Um, you know, it's okay to isolate a pawn on the edge of the board. Um, he doesn't have to worry about shape or uh, underdeveloping his pieces. And he doesn't have to worry about sort of getting out of check with the, uh, you know, pawn closest to the king, like in Toblet. Uh, because he's just kind of, he's just kind of guarding this. These, these mid guys in the middle they don't even usually move in 90 percent of the games they won't even move at all so once again you're just kind of moving him these guys on the sides up this guy to the sides and not really advancing just kind of securing the board off uh wherever wherever uh the king side is attacking just kind of working on sealing that off making a couple captures moving your men in and that about does it. So you can play this game at dragonheelslayer.com and have fun.